What is going on guys, it's Brown Men's Comics, and in this video I'm giving you my picks for comic books that are hitting Final Order Cutoff this coming Monday night, May 10th. Of course, day earlier if you're DC Comics, just like they released a day earlier. Got some great picks this week, some great image comics. There's actually quite a few DC Comics in here, so that's why I wanted to bring up that if you're going to pre-order those DC Comics, make sure you get those orders in. Day earlier than your normal FOC, check with the LCS, check with the orders online. But either way, we're going to get into it right now. Starting with Image Comics, we have reached a full year, and yes, we get Firepower number 12. This is going to be a huge issue. It's an oversized issue. It's celebrating that first full year of Firepower. Robert Kirkman, goodness. If you haven't been reading Firepower, definitely suggest you do so. Not a lot of people predicting that Firepower might follow suit with Invincible, and who knows if we'll see a series, a movie, or anything. But either way, this is a great series to pick up. We're reaching issue number 12 this FOC, and there's a whole bunch of different covers for it. There's even some incentives for it. There's a Todd McFarlane variant for it. My favorite actually is just that cover C. I like that Mindy Lee variant, but like I always say, buy what you like, pick the cover you want, and make sure you get your order in before FOC this coming Monday. Also from Image Comics, we get that creator-owned Scott Snyder goodness. That's right, Noctera number four, hitting FOC as well. This has been another great series. A lot of comic book readers are enjoying this, as well as that Jeff Johns Geiger. Those are two great series, but Noctera, issue number four, also hitting FOC. And one that I like on this one, as well as a lot of other comic book readers, is there's a Jenny Frizen variant. Jenny Frizen does some great covers. I think a lot of her covers are really, really underappreciated. But sometimes you just collect them, store them away, and then who knows what will happen. Something's killing children. Getting over to Marvel. Yes, this week we just had May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Revenge of the 5th, Revenge of the 6th. But we're getting a lot of Bounty Hunters comics. And we have another one, issue number one from Marvel, hitting FOC. So go figure. Mandalorian's popularity. Some Bounty Hunter popularity. Here we're getting Marvel Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, number one. There's a lot of great covers for this one as well, as well as some incentives, one in 25, one in 50. But if you've been enjoying this Star Wars series and you've been enjoying the Bounty Hunter series in particular, this is definitely one that you're going to want to pick up. Also from Marvel, we get Venom number 35. What's so great about this? It is actually the 200th issue for Venom, so they're going big with it. It's also the final chapter for Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. So you got a bunch of things going for this one and you got a bunch of covers going for it as well. Marvel, you know, if you if you read Marvel comics, you know they are not shy with the amount of covers they put out. I think sometimes they put covers out for covers. It's a, a craziness, but it's good though. I mean, collectors like different covers. It's kind of hard for those who want to go Pokemon style and collect them all. I do have like friend of the channel, Ryan Hayslip. I know he likes trying to collect every Venom cover. Good luck with this one, buddy. But either way, I actually like the Jot cover for this. That's the one I'm going to order. But it's not every day you see 200 issues of a series. And they definitely deserve the congratulations. So 200th issue, not sure. Seems like there might be 200 covers. <laughs> not quite. But either way, final chapter of Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman. So this is one to pay attention to. Getting over to Boom Studios. Berserker. I don't know if you guys have heard about Berserker series from Boom Studios, written by Matt Kent and, and some guy, Keanu Reeves. Either way, super popular title right now. Those later printings are going for a crazy amount of money. Berserker number three, it's hitting final run cutoff and it's got spectacular covers. I mentioned Jenny Frizen earlier. We got another Jenny Frizen cover on this one. I am loving this series. I, I know there's people out there that it's kind of... Uh, too over the top and I can I can I can see their point of view for it but this is the comic book that I like to read kind of just soaks you out of your reality immerses you in just some punching and destroying and like 80s action movies I'm an 80s guy so love me some berserker and we're gonna talk about some additional prints for some of these books later on in this video as well now getting over to DC comics first one I want to talk about is from DC Black Label, and we got Nice House on the Lake number one. You may have heard about this series, you may have not, but what I like is it is written by James Tynan, who's probably one of the, the MVP of comic book writers within the past year. He's been killing it on Batman, he's been killing it 
no pun intended, on something that's killing the children. I think he's killing it on wind. Another another series from Boom Studios. But here we got one, another book from James Tynan for DC Comics with DC Black Label. And what is the nice house on the lake about? They got this crazy, like, weird guy, Walter. And I think this book hits at the right time. Everyone dealing with COVID for the past year and a half. That everyone kind of wants a break. This book kind of hits on those senses, I think, because here we have a nice house on the lake. And we got this weird guy, Walter, that invites people to this house for a week. Everyone kind of knows him, knows him a little bit. They think he's kind of weird, but they're like, hey, we need this at this point in our life. Why not get a week away at this nice house on the lake? And, of course, chaos is most likely going to ensue. I'm on board for this. Like DC Black Label. Love James Tynan right now. Can't do no wrong with what he's writing. And I love horror comics. We've been saying it a bunch of times on this channel. And we got other horror comics coming up in this video one I really want to talk about. Let me know in the comments, is, is this a series that you are going to pre-order or are interested in reading? Also from DC Comics and another horror comic, we get The Conjuring, The Lover, number one. Now, this is going to tie into that new The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It movie that's coming up. So I always love books that tie into movies, books that tie into video game stories, books that tie into animated series. Like, I'm big on nostalgia. And I love me some movies. So this one's going to tie into that new Conjuring movie. And I will admit what brought my attention to this is that Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Love that. When it comes to horror, one of the best artists for it. Bill Sienkiewicz. There's also a great B cover for this by Ryan Brown. But if you're a fan of Conjuring, this is a book that you might want to pick up. Also from DC Comics, but more from their Young Animal imprint, we get Far Sector number 12. Now, I talked about Far Sector on this very channel when Far Sector was just coming out with issue number one. We talk about a new Green Lantern. What's so great about number 12? It is actually the final issue in the series. I love picking up final issues, not only because Far Sector has been a great series, huge fan of Green Lantern, so I'm always picking up those Green Lantern books. But a lot of times, the final issues, we all know it if you've been reading comics from issue one all the way down, you start losing a little bit of that print run. This has never been a super popular book outside of the diehard Green Lantern fans. And the people that have read it have enjoyed it. So here we have Far Sector number 12. The final issue, I don't think the print run will be big. Either way, for me, happy to pick this up. I look forward to seeing Joe Mullane in the future. This character is not going anywhere. Although it's the end of this series, I'm sure we'll see her pop up somewhere else. Because everyone needs a Green Lantern, especially in that far sector. Then lastly, this is also from DC Comics. There's a lot of great DC Comics, but I picked a couple here that I like that I'm going to pre-order. And this one I want to talk about is that Crushing Lobo number one. A few years ago... A lot of attention was paid to when Crush was introduced. And no doubt Lobo is one of those popular characters from DC Comics. A lot of people think they haven't been used correctly within the DC media universe outside of animated features. Crush has also been one of those characters you've seen in Teen Titans. You've seen in Titans Academy. You always see her around. You're just waiting for that big breakout. But what I like mostly about this Crush and Lobo number one issue is the incentive variant for it, the 1 in 25 Christian Ward. I love Christian Ward. A lot of people love Christian Ward art. And here we have an incentive 1 in 25 variant. I think this has a has great potential as a comic book. This is one that I would pick up and even just stash it away. Even if it doesn't gain, gain popularity right away, I think of Crushing Lobo almost like I do... Not quite as popular, but I think of Joker and Harley. I could see that same pairing with how some of the Mad Loves or the Harley Quinn. I think this Christian Ward variant, for me, is one of those ones that I'll pick up and stash away. And if it doesn't catch up, if it doesn't go up in value later on, I still love the cover. Big Christian Ward fan, so I'm happy with what I got. Which that's going to bring us over into the Indie Showcase portion of this video. Again, this is brought to you by Black Cape Comics, blackcapecomics.com. You can pre-order all the books talked about in this video, as well as others hitting FOC, as well as some great store exclusives from Black Cape Comics themselves at blackcapecomics.com. So make sure you check those out, get your pre-orders in, and get a discount at the same time while you're doing so. But the book we're talking about deserves its own spot in the Indie Showcase, and it's another one from Boom Studios. It's an issue number one, and it's written by what I like to call the Wes Craven of horror comics. Cullen Bunn is one of the best writers for horror comics. If you think Colin Bunn, a lot of times you might think horror comics. He's also written great non-horror comics, especially when it comes to creator-owned or indie, indie books. But here we are in his element, coming with Boom Studios, and we are talking about Basilisk number one. 
This is one that I'm super high on. I actually had a chance to read an advanced PDF for this. And you hear a lot of people talk about, oh, that's the next Walking Dead. Well, now you're starting to hear people talk about, hey, that might be the next something is killing the children. If there is a book or a title that could do something like that, from reading issue number one, I think this Basilisk could give a run for its money. Fantastic first issue. The interior art by Jonas Scharf lends itself to the story very, very well. I can't say too much more about it because it's spoiler-free reviews, but I'm telling you, pre-order this one. You'll be happy from a reader standpoint, and I think from a collector standpoint, getting in on this one early is probably a good idea as well. I get the same, like I said, I get the same feeling reading this as I did when I first read Something is Killing the Children, number one. So, <clears throat> a lot of good things going for it. Great writer, great story, great cover artist, great interior artist, and great incentive variants. So, Basilisk number one is my pick for the indie showcase for this week. Make sure you get your orders in. Or don't. Moving on. And last thing I want to talk about, like we always do in this video, is those additional printings. We do have some ti some super hot titles getting additional printings, which I guess that might be why they would get additional printings, because they're hot and sold out. <laughs> Either way, but from Image, you're getting Noctera number two with the third print, and Noctera number three with the second print. Also from Image, Shadecraft number one is getting a third print, and Shadecraft number two is getting a second print, which we already know that title has a Netflix deal in place. As well as last week, I talked about Ultra Mega number one with the third print and Ultra Mega number two with the second print. That was actually pushed back to this week. So if you didn't get your order in, you still have time to get those in. And then from Marvel, we get Alien number two with the second print. Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number two is getting a second print. Way of X number one with the second print. From Boom Studios, we have Magic the Gathering number two with the second print. As well as that great Grant Morrison story, Proctor Valley Road, issue number one. Another great series. That issue is also getting a second print. And then from Heavy Metal Comics, we get Chasing the Dragon number one with the second print. One book that I didn't have on this video, which I think everyone should be picking up, and I'm most likely sure they are, which is why it wasn't really discussed, is talked about James Tynan, Batman 109. Make sure you guys have that. If you're not reading Batman, this is the best time. I liked the Tom King run. It was up and down. It was... There was parts I didn't like, but as a whole, I did like the Tom King run. But James Tynan, since he's been on it, have absolutely loved it. Some great new characters. He gave it a nice shot in the arm to that series. Made readers interested in it again, and is doing a great job with that. Don't forget about those 1 in 25 Ricardo Federici variants. Those are super hot. So yeah, I guess I did put that book in this video. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comic books. Hit and final cutoff this Monday or Sunday. Get your orders in. This is Brown Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video. She pull up, hopped out, then she swerved. Do your two step. Your little catwalk, make it work. Make it work. Do your dance. Make it work. Strike a pose. Make it work. Do your dance. Make it work. Strike a pose. I pull up, hop out.